Hello, I am Dr. Krishan Chhabra and welcome to Anokhe Rang. Today's topic is when and then. What do I mean? Well, in one of my segments titled Ultimate Without Ultimatum that aired about a year ago, I said, listen to these famous names. Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States. Martin Luther King Jr., the civil rights leader. Pablo Picasso, the famous artist. Howard Hughes, entrepreneur and a billionaire. Sonny Bono, the singer and an entrepreneur. And Prince, multi-talented artist. Then I posed a question, would you like to guess what do these men have in common other than the fact that they are all dead? Well, all of them passed away without a will. So to state in other words, a commonly asked question is, have you written your will? The answer in general is, well, what's the rush? When I have some time, then I will do it. What are the consequences? Passing away without a will surely means a long, drawn and bitter fight over the assets costing a lot of money in legal fees, not to mention about the hassle and agony for the surviving family and relatives. Surely not having a will is unexcusable for something extremely important and vital that would take only a little time. Let's look at another common question. Are you taking care of yourself? Do you have a healthy lifestyle? Eating a balanced diet? Doing regular exercise? Yoga? Meditation? Etc. The answer in general is, well, I'm too busy right now. My job, little children and my family, it is extremely hectic and sometimes even chaotic. But when things slow down and I find some time, then I will start eating healthy food and start physical exercise. What are the consequences? Poor lifestyle and physical inactivity translates into early onset of health problems that can only get worse with age. Did you know that a vast number of young adults are pre-diabetic and they are not even aware of it? And that means an open invitation for more health issues early on. The cover page of a recent issue of the Money magazine reads in big bold letters, this man is 100 years old and he's still running. It is an inspirational article about Orville Rogers who has been retired for 40 years but is still an avid runner. Not to mention about numerous awards and medals he has received. Being physical active, being physically active from early on promotes your overall well-being including physical, mental, emotional and a positive outlook for a holistic life. In other words, you not only enjoy the years in your life but also the life in your years. And another common question for working adults is, are you saving enough for the retirement, the golden years you are looking forward to? And the common answer is, what's the rush to save? I'm still young. Let me enjoy and spend some more money on myself. I'm not going to retire for some 30 plus years. So when I get a little older, then I will start saving. What are the consequences? The real life involves numerous unexpected turns and many retirees leave the workforce earlier than planned due to hardships such as health problem, layoff and disability. And that can take a big bite out of the nest egg, thereby making the golden years a difficult and unhappy experience, especially when more and more people are living longer. Start saving early and save as much as you can. Remember, the power of compounding is awesome. The time is on your side when you start early. I think you get the picture. Surely we can think of many more examples of when and then with not so good consequences. The very thinking of when and then is flawed since life is unpredictable, circumstances change and very often when and then may not even materialize. I think the idea of when and then fosters delays, excuses 
and procrastination, which in turn adds to stress since things are not getting done in a timely manner. So what to do? In my opinion, change the mindset. Replace when and then with now as much as possible and as soon as possible. Start a healthy lifestyle now. The younger you start, healthier and longer you will live. Take care of the life's most important tasks now, such as writing a will and putting your financial house in order. Start saving for your children's education while they are young. Start saving for your retirement as soon as you start working and take advantage of the magic of compounding. When there's no when or then, and there's only now, you will find the life to be better, happier, peaceful, prosperous, and certainly with a lot less stress. Remember, life is a journey, not a destination. No matter how hectic the life, slow down and take time to watch the sunset and smell the flowers. And oh yes, watch out for the poison ivy. It's a jungle out there. Wishing you a very happy Holi and may the colors of Holi make your life colorful, exciting and enjoyable. Please join me again next month for another segment of an OK Rank. Namaskar.